Hey guys, this is Sean from SeanHunter.com and in this video we are going to perform a benchmarking score comparison between Infinix Note 4 and Infinix Note 3 Pro smartphones. Both of these devices, they are pretty much same in terms of hardware specs. They are having the same M MediaTek MT6753 octa-core processor and uh, Mali T720 GPU. Both devices, they are having the Full HD screen. The only difference is in terms of RAM. Note 4 comes with 2GB of RAM and Note 3 Pro comes with 3GB of RAM. And the benchmarking applications that we got here today, they are Android Benchmarking, Basemark OS 2, Basemark X, Geekbench 4 and Quadrant Standard. To save your time, we have already performed a few of these tests. So we will have a quick look on the scores and the remaining one we will do right here in front of you. So let's just start it. So first of all, let's have a look on the Android benchmarking. So here you can have a look on this course. Note 4 scored 38,287 and uh, Note 3 Pro it scored 39,515. So the score is slightly better in Note 3 Pro and we can say it is because of the more amount of RAM because rest of the specs are pretty much same in both devices. So in this test the winner is Note 3 Pro. Let's go back from here. Let's have a look on Basemark OS 2. And here we are having this score for Note 3 Pro. It's 274. And uh, for Note 4, it's 280. So the difference is not much but the winner is Note 4 and if you compare the individual test score for system the winner is Note 4 for memory once again the winner is Note 4 for graphics uh, the difference is just minute uh, just one point difference is there between these two devices but once again the winner is Note 4 and for web browsing both devices they scored exact 10 points so overall the performance of note 4 is better in base mark os 2 even though the difference is not much but still the winner is note 4 here so let's go back from here and let's have a look on base mark x it is the gaming benchmarking test so it will give you an idea about the gaming capability of these two devices and if you have a look on this course Note 3 Pro scored 8,757 and Note 4 scored 8,817 even though both these devices are having the exact same hardware and the GPU the performance of Note 4 is slightly better and we can say that the credit goes to uh, the more optimized OS the latest uh, XUI and Android version on the Note 4. So this is all about the Basemark X. Let's go back. Let's have a look on the next test, and that's Geekbench 4. So, this test is divided in two parts. We have only performed both of them. So, let's have a look on the CPU testing first of all. And here we are having GS score for single core, Note 4 scored 625, and for multi core, it scored. 2696 and if you talk about the Note 3 Pro it's 627 for single core and 2806 for multi core so you can see that in both tests the winner is Note 3 Pro here let's go back and let's have a look on compute test okay. and here we are having this score as you can see this time the winner is Note 4. So Note 3 Pro scored 1896 and Note 4 scored 1938. So in compute test the winner is 
Note 4 as you can see here and if you're talking about the CPU test the winner is our Note 3 Pro so it's kind of tied between these two devices because in one test the performance of Note 4 is better and in another test the performance of Note 3 Pro is better and the last test is quadrant standard that we will do right here in front of you and it is a detailed benchmarking test once the test is finished we will have a look on this course and here we are having the score so Note 3 Pro it is scored 21,927 so we can consider it as 22,000 and Note 4 it is scored 29,227 so this time the margin the difference is huge between these two devices and the winner is Note 4 so as we have seen already that in few tests the performance of Note 3 Pro is better and in few tests the performance of Note 4 is better because both of these devices they are exactly same and the only difference is in terms of amount of RAM so sometimes the performance of Note 4 is better and sometimes it's Note 3 Pro both of them are great devices and the real life performance will be pretty much same as well so that's all for now friends thanks for watching the video and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more videos tips and tricks and hands on reviews like this and I'll see you guys next time in an another video have a nice day